Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Welcome back to some more virtual off-roading in Spin Tires Mud Runner on the new map Kanasket by Moron and this time we're going to be exploring a very rock heavy section of this map which I am very excited for. It looks really off-road park inspired. It looks like something you would see at like, I don't know, Wind Rock or Adventure Off-Road Park which is by the way... We're going to both of those places when I buy my Jeep XJ. So stay tuned for that because there will be an XJ on the channel. Should be in the next few weeks. We're going to get a Jeep XJ. We're going to outfit it for the channel. And my plans for that are we're going to have channel branded stickers all over it. We're going to take it to off-road parks. We're going to take it trail riding. We might even take it to some off-road shows. And who knows, maybe eventually we'll have a crazy, you know, XJ off-road build centered around the channel. I'm really excited about that, but there will be more videos about that later on in the future. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this section of this map. So let's go ahead and start out in the CJ2A. We'll get it started. I do apologize if this thing is loud. Um, sometimes these things do tend to be a little loud and I want to apologize for that right off the bat, but usually you guys seem to be a little bit less upset when a vehicle is loud and a little bit more upset when I'm louder than the vehicle. So, uh, we, I think that's going to be where we'll sit. Oh, you just like descend into this bowl. Like it's literally, it's literally this like bowl of rocks and death for anything that doesn't have big enough tires. <laughs> Second gear pulls us up out of there pretty well in the 2A. Let's see, oh, ooh. So we could go left or we could go straight. How about this? Well, yeah, we're gonna go straight in the CJ and we're gonna go left in the Gladiator. Nice and easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, walk it up. Okay, nope, not happening. You know what? New idea, new approach, hang on. to bounce it up around the side and that's not working all right well that was the idea we might end up having to take the gladiator this way yeah we might end up having to take the gladiator this way we'll go left in the cj for now and we'll take the gladiator up there a little bit later on so exploration continues regardless that's why we have two rigs so we can explore multiple areas of the map at once and honestly i would rather have it that way anyway because at the end of the day, you have such a massive amount of area to explore. I mean, like, look. This is all that we got up to in the first exploration video. There's so much more room, so much more of this map that is genuinely untouched that I can't wait to see what's all over this map once we actually are out of, you know, out of the shadows and can sort of kind of see. But now that this is positioned down here, I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna swap over to the Gladiator. Start it up, throw it in about second gear, and slowly descend down into this rock bowl. I don't know where that water came from, but okay. Uh, nice and easy. Really working those king coilovers, dropping down into this, into this bowl. Not too bad, flexing the suspension out. See, this thing rides like a freaking Cadillac in comparison to the CJ2A, but at the end of the day, it's a CJ2A, and this is a brand new Jeep Gladiator, so you can obviously, you know, obviously tell that there's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of dynamic differences. They really share very little as platforms in general. Oh my god! Alright, well that, uh, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Dude, wow, this thing, this thing ripped up that hill. I didn't expect it to rip up that hill anywhere near that quick. Just kind of trying to negotiate around these little rises in the terrain, rises and falls in the terrain. Nothing too bad, hopefully, but I do think that up around the next corner, there should be something a little bit, oh boy, don't get out of my way. 
that's the only thing that I don't like about this map is occasionally there's fallen trees on trails, but it does add to the atmosphere, though. Is that another tra- What? Wait a minute. Well, maybe. Oh, no, you can actually come back from the garage that way. Oh, that's so cool. That must be the, the route that goes through the gate. God, there's so many interconnected routes on this map. Like, you would actually think while playing this map that you can almost get to anywhere from anywhere. And you just about can. There's almost enough routes for that. And that's what makes it feel like an off-road park. Come on. There you go. Oh, nice and easy. Nothing too crazy. There we go. You got these nice little, you know, wide open views and stuff like that. But I, I, I was kind of hoping for some more technical sections. I mean, when I saw those rocks, I was like, yes, now we found the technical bit. And, I mean, we kind of did for a little while. But yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more technical stuff. Let's see. Nice and easy over that edge. Nice and easy over that edge. There we go. Working our way down. Oh, we got a little bit of rock crawling right here on the right. Might go check that out. It's really not rock crawling so much as it is rocks intermixed into a trail. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, sometimes having all-out rock crawling isn't as good as having some, you know, some rocks just kind of strategically placed throughout the landscape. I'm going to pull winch cable here. I'm sure, obviously, that there's a line that this, thing that, that this thing could take that would be, you know, where it would be easy to do. But at the end of the day, though, it's not really that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll pull out the winch cable if I have to. I'm not really, like, ashamed to pull winch cable out here. Come on. I know for a fact that there will be a winch on the channel's XJ because, let me tell you... That thing is going to get stuck, and we're going to break it. We're going to get it stuck. We're going to do everything that you're supposed to do with an XJ. We're going to drive it on the highway. We're going to take, basically, we're going to take, like, three-plus-hour highway road trips to the trail, wheel the crap out of it, fix it on the trail if we need to, and then drive it home. We are not doing a truck and trailer. Come on. And we might later on down the road, but I really want to get that, that experience of driving, you know, Way out to a trail, camping, wheeling, and then driving home. God, this thing is capable. Come on, come on, find the grip at the front axle. There we go, come on! It's really trying, man. It is really trying, and it's kind of... Ah, there we go. Just needed a tiny little tug of the winch. Oh, I heard that. I heard that thump of the rear bumper coming down on the rock. And the thing is, in a, you know, in, a, in an actual Gladiator, like, dude, don't get me wrong, they're freaking amazing rigs, but, like, oh, my God. See, if I was in an XJ and I came down on the back bumper on a rock, I'd be like, okay, just, like, either leave it as is or buy another bumper on eBay. In a Gladiator, I'd be like, oh, I, be, I, I dead to the back bumper. No! I, I, I would just cringe, you know what I mean? Oh, you got an interesting, like, little notch section right here. I'm going to throw in an automatic for this. And just kind of drive her right through. Nice and easy. Yeah, this section is not difficult. Not difficult at all. There we go. This map is such a hidden gem because, like, you know, it, <clears throat> it was kind of... It just kind of, like, you know, never got any airtime for so long because he never released it. But, man, am I glad he did. I'm really, really glad he did. I'd love to do some multiplayer wheeling here for sure because I think it would lend itself really well to it. Partially, I was concerned that I had been there before, but now I am reassured that I have not been through there before. Now... Yeah, I'm close to an area where I've been, so it makes sense as to why I was a little worried for a second, but... Yeah, no big deal, though. Ah! Stop! Is that a trail? Yes, yes it is. Like, everything is a trail here. Go! Come on! Grab that grip! There it is! Woo! Get it! 
A little bit of unrealistic powering through right now, but... Yeah, too fast, I know. Way, way too fast. It's like how to break everything 101. Oh, wait. Ooh, whoa, the way that I want to go is actually... to the right. All right. Because I was looking at the map. I was looking at the map, and I was like, that section looks fun. There we go. It looks fun. It looks intense. And it... Whoa. Hey, we got a rock section right here. Whoa, look at that. Dude. These are steep. Oh, I so want to, like, want to try to turn around and go up one of these. Oh, no! Oof, there goes that. There goes that theory. But, you know what? It's okay because we are using Mudrunner mod, which means we have an electric winch. Which is always kind of weird, like... It was always weird how this game would always consider your winch to basically be driven by a PTO, which only allowed you to use the winch when the engine was running. And I get why they did that, because they wanted to do it for game balance, but it was also kind of frustrating. God, you have, like, all these, like, you have these multiple different lanes you could take for hill climbs. Oh, oh, nope. I'm gonna need to bump that. Yeah, I was gonna say, you need to get a little bit aggressive for that. Oh, come on! Man, it's like, it's almost there. Dude! Oh my god, I put it in third! And it started to go. I'll put in second. Come on! You know what? You know what? That's gonna be another almost. Yeah, we... Whoa! Ah, no! Come on! There we go! We almost flipped ourselves back over. Oh, man. It's a fun spot. Yeah, no, like, the more time you spend here, the more weird and cool and interesting stuff you find. And we've only still explored a very, very, very small bit of what this map actually has to offer. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.